You're always riding with me, Tinny. <laughs> Stopped by that dumpster again today. It's supposed to be working, but you know how that goes. Gotta check the dumpies. bit uh, get load or anything but we'll take what they're giving not much today but they just started this new dumpy hopefully I might check it today if I can get by here in time before they close the gates. Do a double check. Get in there. Couple of future flat boys. Oh, what do we have there? Let me sniff that out. Yeah, big bug hiding. Take you. Oh, hold on. Smoke. Oh. Smoke. Oh, I dropped my sunglasses. <laughs> Not the highest of quality recording, but bumpy ride this morning. Pretty sure I saw one more in there. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Hell yeah, I got a big old bin of these now. These guys must have placed a shitload of those. Cause I quite pile them now. More wire. Oh, there's some. Anything else? That looks pretty heavy wire there. Hell yeah. Number one. Sniffing it out. Sniffing it out. You know what? Let's get in here. Make sure I ain't missing nothing. See you later, TC. Say hi to Mama Scraps and Twisty. Boop. This is doable. This is doable.
taking it. Giving all the steel to my new friend Dan. Old school, old school. Seen him, uh, I went out looking for a scrapper. I was actually out looking for a certain one, a certain scrapper. And I ran into Dan. That's all steel. We'll keep that one here, but we'll take this one. Should we take it? Well, it's already in my hand, why not? <laughs> it's already in my hand. Why am I asking myself? Yes, yeah, so I was out looking for a certain scrapper and I ran into Dan, old school. And I said, hey buddy, you out looking for scrap? And he said, yeah. It's coming back from the grocery store. Thought I dipped down an alley. I was like, I know what you're saying. It's like, is your van empty? He said, yeah. I was like, you want to fill it up? And he said, yeah. I said, come to my neck of woods. Told him where I was at. Eight minutes later, he was there and we loaded his van up full of everything. <laughs> Cargo van. Ovens, washers, dryers. <laughs> More ovens, grills. I just gave it all away. Just gave it to him. And I told him I had more in the scrap shack that I just wanted to tear down. And I'll give him a call. He gave me his number. Let him deal with this, you know, let him deal with the shred. Why? Because last Monday I called the yard and said, hey, you guys open to the public? And they said, yeah, we're open. So I show up Wednesday and they're closed to the public. So I call them up again and say, hey, I talked to somebody Monday and they said, you're all open, but your gates are closed. What's the deal? And he told me, I don't know why that person said we were open to the public because we're just taking commercial. So that's no big deal. It's like, do you know when you're going to be open? He said, no, I can't tell you that. It's like, all right, no big deal. I don't know what Dan's going to do with it. I'm sure his yard's just packed full of, you know, stuff. <laughs> I do know he's gonna take uh, washers and dryers apart. I just didn't feel like doing it and creating more of a mess and getting screws on the ground. It was just easier for me to give, give it to him. Just as this, it's gonna be easy for me to give to him, but I took, I stopped basically for that fan motor is what I stopped. But you know, I'll hook old Dan up. He's old school, man. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What is this? <clears throat> HDMI cable. Oh, it's a Blu-ray. <laughs> Wonder if there's a Blu-ray in there. Just gotta look. red hose thought it was aluminum or copper wire just a red hose look out there TVs we got TVs we got TVs just bring your own picture we got grillies we got the barbecue grills well, we're not taking them though. They gotta be bigger than that if I can fit them in there. <laughs> well, we don't even take those either because we can't fit them in there. Any of the hardcores wondering what happened to the old trailer, I ended up giving it away to uh, the folks that bought the Rad Ranger. I had them take away the van for free. They had the bad transmission. 
And then I told them if they want to come back one more time, they can yank that trailer on and out with them. So they did. <laughs> Gave it away. That's what I do. I give stuff away, people. I don't care about making money. I just care about making people happy. That's all. That's all I want to do is just make people happy. Let's get on down to Linwood. Let's see what's happening on Linwood. Look at this mountain bike. Woo woo. Diamondback. Full squish. Very nice. Just thinking about old school D. Old school D. Let's fatten up his pile. Oh yeah. Well, maybe not. That's aluminum. <laughs> we'll keep that one. <laughs> Thank you. Now this chair is probably steel and it can go to old school D. Unless it's aluminum, I'm keeping it. That is a steely boy. We'll give that one up to old school D. Old school. Saw these on the way out. So let's just pick them up on the way in. We'll pick them up for old school D. Give him the old school D. I don't care about the circuit boards and the cast aluminum on that thing either. He can have it. See, my yard would tell me to throw it in the shred and not dirty cast because it has a circuit board in it. And a lot of times those circuit boards are also glued in there or adhered somehow in there. I'm just not going to mess with it anymore. It's all shreddable. So old school D can he could pick them out you know he could pick it out but like i said if i tried to turn that in as like dirty aluminum they wouldn't take it or dirty cast no they won't take it they would just say man you should have put that in the shred pile <laughs> but yeah these things yeah it's cast aluminum i'm gonna go pop one open Let's do that. Exactly what I mean. Yeah, see? It's adhered in there. See? And underneath that is a circuit board. You know? And then whatever's under here. I don't think there's anything under these but still it's been so long since I took one apart that's 
probably screws underneath this. And then this. So, I mean, if you, I mean, I'm not knocking anybody wants to dig this out. Or if your yard accepts it as cast aluminum, that's awesome. My yard was said, you should have thrown that in the shred. You know, throw it in the shred next time. Because underneath this is a circuit board. It's just too dirty. All right, let's put it back in there. in there dirty brass and then there's a pipeline right there has some brass pieces on it some dirty brass and then of course the thing for your shower fall you know to control your shower faucet whatever that is we got little pieces of kappa this may be brass too it's awful rusty though but it is there it is got these will go nice in the number number two insulated they don't even take these caps uh, capacitor they don't take them at all they see that not even in the shred pile they see that they say not again yeah, there's some cast pieces they say not again. I'm all about keeping the yard happy. And not trying to sneak anything in there on them. Noir. Had ourselves a little fire, didn't we? the same as uh, three months ago. It's all a roll off over here. Let's take a look. And it was at the same house last year I got a bunch of stuff out of. Huh. Yeah. Did more work this year than it was last summer I got in here. Got some goodies out of it. No goodies today. <laughs> the bells and whistles.
nasty. I guess I didn't get that on video. <laughs> Some guy, I was pulling metal out of this guy's trash can and he was talking to me through the speaker. The metal was in the trash can with a lot of wood and apparently he was saying that the wood had black mold on it and that's why it's in there, just to be careful. So I said, uh, hey man, thanks for the heads up. I'm just grabbing the metal, I was about to go anyways. Um, happy Memorial Day, if you're a veteran, I salute you. Nice guy, nice guy. Gotta be careful, man. Gotta be careful out here, y'all. You know. Digging in the trash. Anywhere, really. Not just out here. <laughs> Anywhere. I thought I had the camera still rolling, but I guess not. So, there's the story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Plastic chair. <laughs> gunmetal gray the other day we went up to Walmart to pick up an AC unit for the window and I saw a table saw came back around after we picked up the AC unit table saw is gone of course we was in the HHR I was like oh I'll get home and get in the blaze and go get that mug but oh well other scrappers gotta eat too no big deal let boy probably tell I'm not picking up very many flat boys but I thought of this and been asked numerous times last year to pick up flat boys only so welcome to the summer of 2020 so maybe we get that done maybe I'll just ride around until I can't ride around no more right happy Memorial Day you hear that? It is Memorial Day. We salute all the veterans out there. Who fought so hard for our rights to be free. Sit, meow, mix, sit. That's a good pussy.